This guy here is making $16,000 a month with his YouTube AI automation in 2025. As you can see, he has a channel that does 15 to 50K monthly in 2025. And we can see his stats here. 50K in a month. And all he does is uh, do short form YouTube shorts with AI. And has over, and you can reach over 2.7 billion users with this type of content. So you might know what type of videos I'm talking about. Uh, evening. Uh, All right. You know why I pulled you over? Ah! Yeah. Okay. Ah! Look, just get out of here. Unbelievable. For those millions of views, you can get paid thousands of dollars per video. So I'll be showing you. So I'll be showing you this automation that creates those videos and posts them to YouTube Shorts. If you'd like to download to this workflow. You can go into the my AI Automation Academy on school, go to YouTube Resources, and you'll find it posted here. So in this version, it will include posting to YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and an in-depth tutorial on how everything works, how to set the YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram functionalities up. With this workflow that I'll be showing you right now, it's for YouTube Shorts. So let's start it, and this will run automatically every day. You can do it three times a day, one time a day, two times a day. It really depends, and each video costs 15 cents. So for 15 cents, you're potentially making thousands of dollars per 15 cents. So imagine that ROI. Now, it starts with the scheduled trigger. I'm just going to shoot it off real quick and show you guys a video it generates. And while this is loading, when you download the workflow, you can go into these three dots here and then click import from file. And then you will get a JSON file in the school community and you'll be able to upload it to NADEN and it'll load up this NADEN workflow with YouTube, Instagram Reels, and TikTok functionality. There we go. The video has been generated and now it's uploading to YouTube Shorts. So we're going to go to my YouTube channel real quick. Make sure to subscribe. We're going to manage videos. I'm going to go to my YouTube Shorts because I uploaded it as unlisted. And there we go. It has been. Okay, that was the previous one. There we go. This one got uploaded. Cop pulls over a speeding squirrel. License and registration, please. That's an acorn. Ooh. All right. Drive safe. License and registration, please. There we go. That's the video. Got the description, keywords, and a title. So let's get into how this thing works. So it starts with a schedule trigger. And in the school community, I'll show you how to add, have it trigger multiple times throughout the day. And also in the school community, I will be putting out a NADM beginner to pro course next week, advanced AI voice agents within two weeks, and the AI agency accelerator in one week, the AI agency accelerator, and show you how to scale to multiple clients and how to get new leads. And then in the coming month, the advanced AI agent building with Pro AI will be coming out and the Zapier beginner to pro. So the link to that will be in the description and these will be coming out soon. So let's get into how this works. So you have the schedule trigger that triggers uh, once a day. And then we have the LM chain that generates the prompt. So here we have the rules. General prompt for a sort to video script for a funny body cam video, fully stopping funny animals, make it funny and viral potential. Make sure the script can fit into a 10 second video so it doesn't cut off at the end. Do not format the text, just output it to no new I'll put it no new lines, just a block of text. Also generate a title, description, and keyword to the description. Then you turn on the specific output format, put in the output parser, and then put in this JSON structure. And you can just screenshot this and put it into Claude AI. And Claude will just uh, write out the text for, for you so you can just copy it. And then here we have key AI. So key AI is what we're using to generate this video. And it's only 15 cents for 10 seconds or 30 credits, and you can get 1,000 credits for $5. So that'll also be linked in the school community. 
in the description. And then what you want to do is go into Key AI, go to Models Market, go to Text to Video, and then you'll see here Sora 2. You'll try that. Click Try it. And then you're going to want to do Sora Text to Video. Make sure that's on. As you see, 15 seconds per 10 second video without watermarks. So that's the important part. Then you want to do Create Task API Endpoint. Scroll all the way down here. And you'll see this request example. You're going to want to copy that. Click Import Curl in the HTTP request node. Paste that. Go back to Key AI. Go to your API key. Then create an API key. And then here where it says bearer, you want to paste it after bearer. And then here in the JSON body, you'll see prompt and aspect ratio. So you want to change the aspect ratio to portrait and then drag in the prompt the AI agent put out. So that will generate the video. And then we need to check continuously until that video is uploaded. So I've seen people make a similar workflow with where it just uh, goes on without checking, but that is prone to errors. So you're going to want to put in this loop here. So this loop starts by making a API request called record info. So it's api.ki. So you can just uh, screenshot this, go to snipping tool, and then do like a screenshot and then paste it into Claude, and it will write it out for you. And then you want to put the task ID, which the previous HTTP request outputs. You want to put that, so it's checking the task ID. So for this request, you're going to want to paste in this link, and then turn on send query parameters, put in the name task ID with uppercase I, and drag in the task ID that the previous node outputs. And then you want to turn on send headers, and name it authorization with a capital A and then bear with capital B and then paste your API key. And then what that will do is it'll check um, the status. So it'll either be, it can be waiting, uh, generating, or success. So here we have the switch node. So we're putting in, sorry, generating, waiting, and success. And then here we put the state, which is, um, the information of the process the video is in. So the state is if it's equal to generating, rename the output to not done. If it's equal to success, we rename the output to done. And then if it's equal to waiting, we rename the output to waiting. So waiting and not done go into this wait node that waits one minute. So this wait node is waiting one minute, and then it checks back in with this node that checks, okay, is it successful? No. And it just keeps looping, looping. And then when that's done, when it's success, it goes through the done area. And then in this JavaScript node, uh, we want to parse out the video with no watermark download link because it comes in like this. So I'll full screen this and you can just screenshot this code, put into Claude AI and say, write this down for me. And then you can just copy and paste that into this code node. And that will output this video with no watermark. Then after that, we have this uh, API request that gets the download URL. So this is just the normal URL to the video. And then we need the download URL so we can download the video. So you're going to type in this link here. Turn on send headers, authorization, and then bear, and then the API key. And then here in the body, the JSON body, you want to put in body parameters, call one name and then put in the video with no watermark link that the code node output code node outputs. And then in the next HTTP request, we are going to be downloading that video. So we're just doing the get method and then putting this link into the URL and that's it. And then as we can see here, it downloads the video. Afternoon. And after Lice that, we want to get a YouTube shorts upload video node. So it automatically categorizes it as shorts if it's less than one minute or five minutes, I'm not sure. And then you want to put in the title. So that will be here and then basic LM chain. And then you want to go here, drag the title, region code, and then the category name name or ID, you want to put 22, that's for people in blogs. If you want to put technology or whatever you want, search up the number category ID for 
categories on YouTube. And then the input binary field is gonna be called data because here, if we go to this, the file name is this, but the binary name is data. So we're just gonna put data here. And then the description, same thing, go to LM chain, drag the uh, key, and then privacy status, you wanna put public. And then you get the upload ID here and it will upload to your channel. So yeah, that wraps up the video. If this helped you, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you want a more in-depth tutorial on how this works and how to make it and the download for how to, any download with the Instagram Reels, TikTok, and YouTube Shorts uploading functionality. And I'll also be putting out a tool that will be showing you how to create production-ready AI voice agents so you can sell to businesses. This school community will also be for business owners. If you want to learn how to create AI for your own business, you can also join that. I'll also be teaching that. That will be in the link in the description. And if you need any custom AI solutions built for your business, make sure to reach out to me through email. And if you're not sure how to integrate AI into your business, you can book a free consultation with me and I will map out your entire business and see where AI can be integrated to make it more cost-effective and efficient. All right, see you.